Hi everyone. So today is, oh my gosh, today is Sunday. I don't even know what day it is anymore because I've been cooped up in the house for the past few days. Um, baby has been going through a growth spurt apparently. Um, he gets bigger every day. That's really good, but it's also making me a little bit um, crazy because <laughs> I have to nurse. He's demanding um, to be nursed uh, every hour for 12 hours. That's really like, and that in itself is a full-time job. But anyway, um, baby is finally back to sleep after his first meal, I guess. Um, but yeah, I don't know what today is, so I'll post that day here somewhere. Um, I'm doing this vlog because my goal is to make sure baby gets all the breast milk he can get as much as possible. My goal is to do this for a year, but also my goal is to get back to a healthier weight. Um, um, at the end of my pregnancy before going in, my last weigh-in was actually a hundred, uh, 200, I want to say 225, 226 pounds. Um, that is a lot. That's a lot. I was pre-pregnancy, I was 188, and that was um, after going on vacation in August, um, uh, in July, and vacation weight, I gained like four to eight pounds, um, and now my weight is officially, well, on my home scale is 207, so I lost almost 20 pounds from giving birth on May 18 um, and nursing, so that's great, and that's, that's, you know, all the fluid that they push through me and all of that, and that's wonderful, but my goal is to, you know, continue to breastfeed as much as possible uh, while still getting down to a healthier weight, and this is how I'm going to do it. This trusty book um, is, for, is a Beachbody product, and um, I haven't really st stuck to this because, you know, with vegan diets, it's it's a little bit more difficult, um, especially since you know it's not uh, the conversion for vegan um, options is not much in here, and um, vegans will say, "Oh, you can get you know the red represents protein basically," and they'll say, "Oh, you can you can put beans in here." No, not everyone can have this much beans. Um, that's a lot of carbs and when I tried it this and this is just from my experience when I tried it um, I had a lot of um, gas pain um, it was just so uncomfortable so it was just so much carbs but I think because I have after having gone through um, gestational diabetes I don't know where I'm at now I hope I don't have diabetes anymore but um, after having gone through having gestational diabetes and being put on a special uh, diet, still vegan, but a special diet, I know that I can handle and I am satisfied with more um, protein, um, plant-based protein. So it will be a lot of tofu, tempeh, all of that. So yeah, no beans for me. No beans in here um i read that you know to continue your breast milk production you need to be eating three to five hundred calories more um a day um from what you've been eating pre-pregnancy and to be honest i want to say it was like 1800 calories pre-pregnancy um, I was still trying to watch what I eat, ate, but not totally, you know, um, restrict myself. But, yeah. Um, so I'll probably, well, there's a calculator in here um, somewhere, and I'm going to work on my meal plan um, f for this first week back uh, in, you know, dialing in my nutrition. Um and we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'll probably just make some adjustments based on my palate. 
Um, I definitely, since we've been home from the hospital, um, our nutrition hasn't been that great. We haven't gotten to really buy groceries. So it's all been eating whatever was left in our fridge. <laughs> um, hopefully tomorrow my husband will um, go to Costco and, and to the grocery store to buy um, some fresh produce. Uh, right now, breakfast is my Shikology. And my husband said, you know, because my my baby is blah, 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 my baby is demanding more of me, I need to probably even drink two of these a day. So I probably will. Um, I'm maybe not drink, but I'm going to make Shikology, um, vegan chocolate Shikology popsicles to snack on that um, when it gets really hot because it's been really hot here in Eva Beach. Um, but yeah, that's my breakfast. Um, I have Shakeology with chia seeds and chia seeds. Um, I've read, I haven't read too much into detail, but on the breastfeeding forums online, they say to have chia seeds to help with milk production. And chia seeds are just healthy all around anyway. And I, that's what I've been drinking throughout my pregnancy. So is Shakeology. And I got <laughs> three pieces of toast, whole wheat toast um with peanut butter yeah and this was my breakfast actually um during my um the last few months of my pregnancy except i only had two now i have three because i really have not been eating and i need my energy before my son aka the little dragon aka baby cyborg wakes up again and i probably have about 40 more minutes to myself before he does wake up okay so wish me luck i will be doing more vlogs um just to keep my sanity you know i mean staying home i love being with my son yeah it was a rough first two weeks back and you know your hormones are just going all over the place and i was so worried that i was gonna have um postpartum depression because i was depressed before you know, losing our baby in 2012, um, having a missed miscarriage. I know what depression is like, and it's not, it's not, it's, it's the worst place you could ever be. Yeah. Um, so I was, on top of having all these emotions, I was worried that I was going to have it and then not be there completely for my son. And I th I'm pretty sure that my hormones are in check already. <laughs> yeah, it's, yes, yes, yes. Um, when when um, my husband finally went back to work, I kind of just was forced to just deal with it. And it's just been great after that. Um, and definitely exercise has made my mood a lot better. So um, but for, for now, we're just going to go walking around our area until I get clearance from the doctor that I can go start exercising in. I'm not sure what exercise program I want to do. Um, I did enjoy doing the 21 day fix um, when I was pregnant, but I couldn't do like a lot of the moves because um, my belly, <laughs> you know, you can't lay in your back and you can't. So that's a whole Pilates X workout I couldn't do that but we'll see it might be this or Shalene Extreme one of those two Shalene Extreme I've done before that's where I lost my initial 10 pounds um, out of 30 and I built a lot of muscle with that program um, but this might be the program I do um, after I get my uh, clearance from the doctor which is probably hopefully next week uh, next week Wednesday I will make three weeks postpartum baby makes three weeks and I am looking forward to that scale going down stomach going down my milk coming in and not being affected by my healthy lifestyle okay that is it thank you so much for watching I will see you guys later bye